Hey everyone, welcome back to the channel and we're back with another 2K23 tag team video and today we have the top 10 most ridiculous tag teams that you should still baby use in your WWE 20, 2K23 save. And as you can see, we're starting off with a tag named American Diesel um, and it is the American Badass Undertaker with Kevin Nash's Diesel. And initially... This was just a, a play on words, um, but I actually really do like the idea of these two in a tag team. Um, and they can look pretty badass in the game. Uh, so especially if you're doing an old school era universe save, these just really fit the bell for a slightly different tag team rather than the, obviously the Brothers of Destruction, which is most commonly used. Next up, we have Heavy Machinery. Um, with a combined weight of 1,000 pounds, we have Andre, Andre the Giant, and Yokozuna in a tag team which would absolutely dominate anyone and everyone. Um, stick these up against a couple of luchadors, and uh, that would be a fantastic watch. Next, we have legacy maybe one that's not so ridiculous um old school legacy but instead of ted dibiase re replacing him with charlotte flair she you know is in is in fact a legacy of rick flair so maybe this one isn't so ridiculous to have next up we are back with the ridiculous tag teams with one called locked up which was a suggestion um and it is the Pig Boss Man with Tony D'Angelo with the theme that we have the jailer and the prisoner just based on their uh, attires. It, it's ridiculous, but this that's what this video is all about. Next up, we have a Mount Rushmore tag team. Um, and no, no doubt this will mix opinions. Um, but in mine, we have Taker, Rock, Cena and Hogan. Um, I mean, it's a pretty overpowered faction to have. Um, but do you know what? Just doing a, a, a tag or a stable of your Mount Rushmore, um, it's a pretty cool thing to have. You could even just modernize it, um, and not include guys like Hogan and maybe add in Orton, you know, if you wanted to. Bring it a little bit more up to the modern era, perhaps. Roman Reigns surely deserves a shout now. Although, speaking of Roman Reigns, we have the People's Tribe next. Taking a big step away from the bloodline, we have the Brock and Roman Reigns leading the tribe with Umaga and the Usos. So, a big play on the bloodline. To be honest, a much improved bloodline. This would be incredible if we if we got to see it. Obviously, we can't now. Rest in peace, Umaga but what a faction this is to, to use in universe mode as well. This is just incredible. Next up, we have Pretty Breezy with Kit Wilson, Elton Prince, and Tyler Breeze. Pretty deadly. Ever since they've been added to the game, they've been floated about a lot of tag teams. Pretty Breezy with Tyler Breeze obviously kind of fits their, um, fits their gimmick. We've also had Pretty... Um, pretty... Theory Deadly, what that Deadly Theory? That's it, Deadly Theory. Um, with obviously Pretty Deadly alongside Austin Theory, and you could also have Pretty Freaking Deadly with Seth Rollins in there as the leader of the group instead. Next we have R V D with R Truth and Rob Van Dam because why not? These guys are both freaking awesome and in a tag team. It's I could see that being a lot of fun in, in a universe mode. But again, this is a top 10, kind of slightly ridiculous, but still maybe usable tag teams. Um, you can let me know your thoughts on, on our VD. Next, we have Starcrossed. <laughs> uh, this is ridiculous, but hey, it's in here. Alexa Bliss and Rhea Ripley, thanks to their connection being Buddy Murphy, who Alexa previously dated and is now with Rhea. And finally, we have the year, what, year, what, Stone Cold, Steve Austin, and LA Knight. Hands, ugh, uh, hands down, the, maybe the best 
tagging in this ridiculous list, and maybe it could actually work, that it would be something that I would wish that we could see in real life, not as a long-term thing, but I think that these two in a tag would be hilarious um, and kick ass. So that is the end of the list of top 10 ridiculous tag teams that you should or maybe shouldn't have in your 2K23 save. Let me know your thoughts and any suggestions for ridiculous or stupid or embarrassing teams that you might be using that I can pop into the next video. Thank you all for watching. Until the next one.